Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded trapezoid uh, AECD fully confined uh, in a semicircle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, this side length uh, CD is uh, 7 uh, units, whereas this uh, side length uh, AD is uh, 15. And furthermore, uh, this uh, AB is the diameter of uh, this uh, semicircle and these are uh, our 90 degree angles and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded trapezoid uh, AECD please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our action plan since we are dealing with this uh, trapezoid Therefore, let's recall the definition of a trapezoid. Sometimes we call it a trapezium. A quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides. And here we can see that this uh, side uh, CD is uh, parallel to this uh, diameter AB. Since uh, this is 90 degree angle and likewise this is 90 degree angle as well. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to height uh, H times uh, A plus B all over 2 and in our case uh, this base uh, a e is uh, our base lowercase a whereas this uh, c d is uh, our base uh, b and this uh, c e is the height uh, of this uh, given trapezoid and we know our b value is uh, 7 so therefore now we are going to find the value of this a and this uh, height uh, h and here in this uh, next step, I have dropped uh, this perpendicular DF uh, on this uh, diameter AB. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, CD length uh, is equal to this uh, FE segment length. If this is uh, 7, then this has got to be 7 uh, units as well. And now let's assume that this uh, segment uh, AF length uh, is uh, X uh, units. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, these uh, points uh, B and uh, C. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this right triangle uh, AFD and this another right triangle uh, BEC are uh, identical uh, triangles according to symmetric uh, property. So therefore uh, this side length uh, AD is going to be equal to this side length uh, BC. If this is a 15, then this side length has got to be 15 uh, as well. And moreover, this uh, segment uh, AF uh, is going to be equal to this segment uh, EB. If this segment is uh, X, then this uh, EB segment is going to be X uh, units as well. And now we want to be creative and we are uh, going to connect uh, this uh, point uh, D and this uh, point B. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, points B and uh, D. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if A, B and uh, D are distinct points uh, on the circle where uh, the line A, B is the diameter, then the angle uh, A, D, B is a uh, right uh, angle. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, A, B, D where these points uh, A, B and uh, D are uh, on this uh, semicircle and this uh, A, B is the diameter. So no wonder this angle uh, A, D, B is uh, going to be our uh, 90 degrees uh, angle. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these uh, two angles, uh, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. And now let's assume that this angle is our angle uh, alpha. We know this is our uh, 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this uh, angle has got to be our uh, angle beta. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, AFD. If this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees, then uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles uh, 
triangle uh, AFD and this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABD are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. Let me go ahead and write down uh, the ratio of uh, side length uh, AF divided by the side length uh, AD is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, side length uh, AD divided by AB length. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, diameter length AB is going to be the sum of x plus 7 plus x. If we add these one that is going to give us 2x plus 7. And now we can see our this AF length is x, AD length is 15. Likewise AD length is 15 once again and this AB length is 2x plus 7. As you can see in this uh, next uh, step, let's go ahead now cross uh, multiply. So let's go ahead and multiply them. So this is going to give us uh, 2x square plus uh, 7x equal to 15 times 15 is going to give us uh, 225. Let's go ahead and move uh, this one to the left hand side. So we are going to have a uh, 2x square plus uh, 7x minus uh, 225 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it for x by grouping and factoring. And we could have used the quadratic formula to solve this given quadratic equation. Now that is your choice. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and multiply this coefficient 2 and this number 225. Don't worry about this negative sign. So let me go ahead and multiply them out 2 times 200 and uh, 25 and now we can see that 225 could be broken down to 9 uh, times uh, 25 and let's go ahead and multiply 2 times uh, 9 that is going to give us uh, 18 and then we have uh, this uh, 25 uh, over here and now we can see the difference uh, of these uh, two numbers uh, is uh, 7 so we are going to subtract so therefore let's focus on this uh, middle term uh, positive 7x we can tweak this one uh, as uh, positive uh, 25x uh, minus uh, 18x. Uh, as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, 7x by 25x minus 18x and here we can see that x uh, is in common between first two terms and here uh, negative uh, 9 is common between these uh, last two terms. So let's go ahead and factor out x over here we got 2x uh, plus uh, 25. Here we're going to factor out uh, negative uh, 9. We got uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 25 uh, equal to 0. And here we can see 2x plus 25 and 2x plus 25 are uh, common. So therefore we can write uh, x uh, minus uh, 9 times uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 25 uh, equal to 0. Let's go ahead and separate. We got uh, x minus uh, 9 equal to 0 and the other one is 2x plus 25 equal to 0. For this first equation we're going to have x equal to positive 9 value. For this second equation our x value has got to be negative 25 divided by 2. And now we can see that x has a negative value and x represents the side length. So this is not possible. So therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative value and we are going to accept uh, this uh, x equal to positive 9 value. So thus we can see that this our x value turns out to be 9 uh, units. In other words uh, this uh, segment AF uh, equals to 9. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AFD whose side lengths are 15 and uh, 9 and we are going to calculate this side length uh, FD. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets 3, 4 and 5. And if I multiply all these uh, numbers by 3 across the board then we are going to have 3 times 3 is uh, 9, 4 times 3 is 12 and 5 times 3 is uh, 15. And here we got uh, 9 and 15. So therefore uh, this uh, third side is 
going to be 12 uh, units so therefore we can see the height uh, of this uh, trapezoid uh, turns out to be 12 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, side uh, ae is going to be equal to 9 plus 7 that is going to give us uh, 16 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, trapezoid and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula once again h times a plus b all over 2 and in our case our height h is 12 a is uh, 16 and b is uh, 7 so therefore the area of this uh, trapezoid equals to our height is uh, 12 times uh, is going to be 16 plus 7 divided by 2 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us 138 so thus the area of this green trapezoid turns out to be 138 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye